Let's say we're in the world of perfect competition and the price of our item is $11. And we need to figure out what quantity we want to produce in order to maximize profit with this cost structure. Well, the rule that we learned in class is that the firm in perfect competition should produce the maximum quantity where the marginal cost is less than or equal to the price. So if we just look down the marginal cost curve, we can see that the maximum quantity where uh, the marginal cost is less than or equal to the price is quantity two, because the marginal cost is eight, which is less than the price of 11. And if we were to produce the 12th item, I mean the third item, the marginal cost of the third item is $12, the price is 11, so the marginal cost is greater than the price, so we would not want to produce the third item. So let's check to make sure that that's really true. So at $11, our total revenue at quantity zero would be, of course, zero. So we're not selling anything. We're not making any money. We sell one item. Our total revenue would be $11, because 11 times one is 11. If we sell two items, our total revenue would be 22, because 11 times two is 22. And if we sell three items, our total revenue would be 33, because 11 times three is 33. Now let's check our profit. Our profit at quantity zero would be zero minus seven, so that's negative seven dollars. Our profit at item one would be total revenue 11 minus total cost of 12, that's negative one. 11 minus 12 is negative one. At quantity two, our profit would be total revenue 22 minus total cost of 20, so that would be two dollars. And that was what I had suggested would be our maximum profit. Let's check to make sure that that's true. At the three items, our total revenue is 33, our total cost is 32, and our profit is $1. So two is greater than one. So we'd rather have a profit of $2 than a profit of $1. So we are going to produce two items in a perfect competition as a way to maximize our profit.